How about now, Ruff? We got any sound now? I pick up that microphone, and when I pick it up, it mutes it sometimes, man. Tell me if you can hear me now. <laughs> Anybody hear me now? <laughs> um, sound like, hello. <laughs> can you hear me now? Is the mic working now? It was muted is the problem. When I pick it up like this, sometimes I hit the button on it, man, and it just is what it is. Um, as I was saying, EQ, that F-18 looks sweet, buddy. It looks like you bought it that way, man. You did a fantastic job. And I was giving shout-outs to everybody. Scotty RC Aviation, Tim Tuton, how are you, buddy? Uh, Mr. Wayne Schneider, how you doing, Wayne? Um, missed you, man. We'll get together some point, I guess. You're a busy man. Um Rough. Hi, how are you? L.A. Jeff. Shadow Ops. Um, as I said, EQ's in here. Wild Bill. I appreciate you guys pouring in, man. Skyblazer, what's up, buddy? Yeah, I'm great sitting here going back through the, uh, let's see, we got 6SRC in the house. How are you? I appreciate all you guys for being in here, man. Um, as I was saying, hope you've had a good weekend. It's another Tuesday night of Flight Club. I don't even know what round this is anymore. We just... Hanging out with you guys and uh, having a good time. Kenneth Brantley in the house. How are you, buddy? Um, wow, South America, man. There's Lyndon. There he is in the house. How are you, buddy? Kicking in. Um, so I hope you guys are doing good tonight, man. I appreciate every one of you for being here. And like you saw in the premiere, we got some good things going on tonight. If you are on Facebook, come over to YouTube so you can get in here and comment. And like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing, right? Um, but guys, as you well know, you see it right here. That is the V3 Futura, guys. And I'm just wanting everybody in here to know, all you supporters, Tim Tutant, guys, this, this is from you right here. And I appreciate it because I bought this with the channel's money because as soon as Rich Baker showed it, uh, what, weekend before last, we were at the fly-in, me, Bobby, Jeff. I jumped all over it and went ahead and bought it. I had to have it. What's up, Noons? How are you, man? That uh, turbine's looking good, man. Um, good tips over there on that channel too, buddy. Um, but I had to have this jet. And, guys, I'm telling you, the pictures of this jet right here, they don't do it any justice. I mean, it's beautiful looking at the box, but the color of it until you see it in person, uh, I, I, I can't even explain it because I had to crack the box open and look at it. And I'm just telling you, I was wowed by it. It is absolutely, as they would say, stunning. Um, it is, it's beautiful. And, uh, as you well know too, there it is guys, Viper 90, um, had to get that. I've been waiting on that one a while. So yeah. So basically guys, this is channel right here. And, um, I appreciate you guys. Um, and as soon as I can get these things, uh maiden you'll be seeing those videos as well and uh i think everything should go good so you guys tell me what do you want to see first i mean because uh you know i know a lot of you guys have seen the viper 90 we've all seen that it's a great flying jet i've already cracked into both of them and kind of looked at them and uh you know again like i said Take nothing from the Viper 90, but this this future, guys, oh, my God. It's just got me going, wow. It is absolutely beautiful. So um, throw up some uh, comments in here, guys. Let me know which one you want to see first, and I'll be glad to talk about it. Whichever one you like. Doesn't matter to me. Because by the power of TV, <laughs> they're nearby. <laughs> um, and we can break it right on down. Rough. Settle down there, killer. <laughs> You know she don't like to be on here man she's like she's like the mystery you know <laughs> um max air 420 says viper all right man we can do that too taking a poll whichever guys you want to see first um noon says the future hey we go that's two one one a piece come on guys i'm telling you man the day they, they came out, and, and guys, in case you did not know it, I'm going to drop this up here for you, too. Um, let me see. Where is it at? Um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to run that across the bottom. In case you guys did not know, FMS is now in the United States. 
it took me only a few days to get this here. And from the FedEx uh, tracking information, it came from Tallahassee, Florida, guys. So obviously that's where they're coming out of now. So guys on the East Coast, probably halfway the U.S., you're going to get your stuff pretty quick. Um, I was amazed at how quick it got here once I got a shipping notification. I ordered it on a Saturday, and it got here pretty fast. Um, so, yeah, I think I had it by Wednesday. And, you know, they probably won't even back open until Monday. So, uh, all right, so we're getting some Futuras in here. Futura and Terra. <laughs> The lovely Tara will be showing you. <laughs> there you go, man. I, I wish I could get her to come up here, Rough. I've told, I've tried to tell her, man. Um, she won't listen to me, you know. Um, <laughs> what's Eric say? Does Futura have the factory gyro? Yes, it does. It's called the Revo, and it is in here. Um, it's already installed. You can take it out if you like. Um, so, guys, without further ado, I tell you what. I look. Everybody, we, you know, we've seen a lot of the Vipers out there. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to go ahead and uh, we'll break it on down for you and show you what we got here in this beautiful foam box here, right? And uh, like I said, by the power of TV here, guys, bam, here it is. Um, I'm going to try to get into the comments and see what's going on here, and I'll try to stay with you guys. And uh, Tim, thank you, buddy. Hey. Tim, right here, man. You are a big part of this, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, all you guys watching videos, the support of the channel, this is this is what it does, man, right here. And I just appreciate all of you guys. And uh, thank you, Tim, so much. Hope your wife's doing well. Um, I know she was having some issues. Um, but, yeah, guys, so I'm going to take these foam blocks off of here and uh, get these out of the way first. So bear with me. Like I said, I've already got this thing. Got a nice wing spar there. Look at there, fellas. Nice carbon. I think that's carbon. Could be fiberglass. But anyway, it's 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 not going anywhere. That's pretty nice. Lay that out of the way. Um, so let's move this piece of foam and this block of foam over here. This over here out of the way. And uh, we'll start off with a wing. And, guys, here again, like I said, you see the box. This airplane in this box almost has kind of like an orangish red. Dude, guys, it's not. It's more like a beautiful red. I don't know how to explain it. I don't even know if the picture here from the camera will do it justice. If I can get it under the light, maybe. Um, but, I mean, guys, look at the finish on this thing. This foam is really good, dense foam. Um, show it to you both ways. It's got super nice uh, hinges in here. You've got really nice uh, ball linkages under here, your gear. Um, I'll get in here where you guys can see all this as well. Um, hard points, as you can see, with uh, on, the, on the actual fuselage itself, guys, it's got your brass um, where your screws go into. Also, you've got your uh, wing connectors that are a lot like uh, computer connectors here, guys. These are really nice. Um, covered servos, uh, super big lights on this thing, guys, on the wings here, and they're very bright. Um, if you guys watched Rich Baker's video on this thing a couple of Saturdays ago, he did a live unboxing. Um, that's what got me, man. I mean, I was blown away by it. Uh, could not believe it. Um I was just thrilled to see it. And this thing in person, as I said, this camera is not doing this color any justice. This is a beautiful red, guys. And it, it looks more orange from what I could see when Rich was doing it. Um, so I was really shocked when I opened it up to see the color, but it's beautiful. Um, so I'm going to get this out of the way and lay it over here. And, and this is super nicely packaged, too, guys. Um, Again, you got your, your next wing. Another thing I like, too, they put tape over all of your uh, servo wires. Um, that's one thing we were talking about the other day with, like, the Viper 70 that my friend bought. There's no tape over the wires. Why not? I mean, come on, you know? You're talking pennies to put tape over the servo wires. Again, just beautiful um, 
the finish on this thing, guys. I, I don't know if it's doing any justice for you to see this, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm just I'm just thrilled by it. Hard points here again on the wing, uh, wing root leading edge there, guys. That's hard points, all hard connections. Um, super nice. And this thing, it, it just comes out of the box really easily. I mean, um, horizontal stabilizer. Again, all ball link uh, connectors here, guys. Your linkages are already installed for you. Um, these are foam hinges on this elevator. But this thing, I mean, it, it's super easy. All hard points for your screws, where it goes together. Um, again, tape over everything, servo covers. Just really, really nice looking finish on this thing. And, and again, the color of it, to me, is actually nicer looking than what it looks uh, from the videos that I was seeing or the pictures I was seeing. It didn't do it any justice. Um, stick that back in there, and I will show you the elevator. See, let me spin this back around here. This is your rudder. I meant rudder. Um, again, servo covers here. Um, I, I mean, I, guys, there's I can't find a flaw on this airplane. I mean, really, it's just really very nicely done. I mean, hard points here, hard points here for all your screws. Uh, yeah, I mean... I cannot find a thing wrong with this airplane, and I've looked it over. Um, this is the second time I've looked it over, and I just I, I can't find anything wrong with it. And so um, let's see, we'll put that back in there. And um, this is your your screws for everything are down in here, guys. And there's only, gosh, how many screws for this thing? And these are hex head screws as well. Uh, you've got two, four, I don't know, probably eight or ten screws in this bag here. That's it. I mean, that's all it is. And then you've got a USB cable here. This is to program your Revo uh, should you need to. Um, that's that. Other than that, guys, I mean, oh, you wanted to see the fuselage. <laughs> um, you do get your manual. I'll show you the manual. Isn't that nice? Bam. Okay, nice manual. Um, again, tells you everything you pretty much need to know there. Uh, let's see. Pop this one loose. And uh, the moment of truth coming out of the box here, guys. Oh, yes. There it is, fellas. Look. There it is. Look down that beautiful, beautiful intake. If I can get it leveled up for you. Bring it right in for you side you want there's one right there. there you go there's that fan in there guys isn't that cool super nice looking um again hard points to the back of the plane where all of your elevator and rudder connect um this is all a hard point here as well i'll show you up the tailpipe this is a 12 blade and uh yeah, I mean, guys, I'm telling this thing sounds amazing. Um, I'll show you the inside of it too, so you can see it. The, the finish on this thing's incredible. Um, again, uh, pictures and video don't do not do it justice, guys. Um, there's the back side of your canopy, and you got a little area there for your battery. Should you put a bigger battery, the canopy looks really nice too. Um, I'll show you the inside here, guys, so you can see how big this is inside here. Lots of room in there. Turn it this way for you. Got a lot of room inside this plane. Um, the bottom of it is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. There you go. Doesn't that look good? Easy to get to with your fan. Two screws right here. You can get access to that. You have a belly light right here, guys, which is super bright. Again... You have your wing connectors here and here with brass inserts for your screws to thread into, your hard points, your spar, and these are your connectors for your wings, which are really, really nice. So 
For those guys that have to transport this airplane, you want to take the wings off, guys, it's super, super easy. Um, should not be a problem to take out a few screws and do that. Um, and as uh, someone was asking earlier, there is the Revo right down in there. If you guys can see it for all the wires. Um, see if I can move this stuff out of the way. There it is right down. Trying to get it where you guys can see it. It's an orange Revo right there under my ring finger. There it is. And this is actually already set up, guys, with an EC5 connector, which is really cool. I wasn't sure if this was going to come with the XT90. Um, that's what it said on the website. So I was actually glad to see the EC5. Um, this canopy latches down, fits great. Uh, but I mean, that's it, guys. I mean, and, and put in a few screws and you're at the field and you're flying. Um, so this plane, is it's, it's absolutely beautiful. So if you're hesitant on this one, um, you cannot, well, let's we'll see, does it have a Reflex V2 in it? That I'm not sure. It's got the Revo in it uh, as far as the gyro system goes, which some people take out. They don't like it. Um, you know, it just it depends on what you like or don't like. Um, some people don't care about a gyro. Um, several people that have uh, did uh, videos on the V2, which was kind of like a blue-green color, um, they took it out and didn't use it. So it's just a matter of personal preference, I guess. Um, they have done a few upgrades, such as the lights, uh, the gyro. Um, what else? I think it's got a uh, higher KV fan in it now. Um, let me see. i tell you what I can do. Let me pull this up, and I'll give you some stats on it, guys. Um, okay, so basically you've got 13-gram digital all-metal gear uh, servos, which has been upgraded, uh, large, larger tires, um, oversized electronics bay for easy maintenance, glueless assembly, um, environmentally friendly water-based paint for all those green people out there. Um, buckle design, latch prevents unexpected canopy, uh, release in flights, improved plug type connectors for added durability and reliability, um, added alternately flashing navigation lights on the wings and taxi lights on the bottom of the fuselage. Um, let's see, I can tell you too. Okay, it's got, so it's got a 100 amp ESC with a 3665 2000 KV 80 millimeter 12 blade fan. So she's cooking up some power. Can you smell what I'm cooking right there? Okay, boom. That's what I'm talking about, man. So this, this baby ought to giddy up, guys. Um, and if any of you have flown the version two, um, then you know already how this jet sounds. It's got that whoosh to it. It just sounds incredible, right? Um, so this is one of those things, guys, that, you know, just the sound of this jet is incredible. And uh, they've done some upgrades to it, and that's the whole point of it. And so, again, don't be hesitant on it because for the price of this, what is it, like $380 uh, free shipping? You're getting a lot of jet here for the money, guys. And um, we all know what they're selling for today and i think you know you know what this viper cost this is it's pretty badass jet um so yeah that's just my two cents on what i'm saying and, and what i'm cooking over here so uh now i'm gonna get in over here and i will show you the viper and we'll look at a few things and compare some notes on it as well and i'll show you some things that i like and don't like about it um after looking into it and uh seeing some things i can honestly say on this particular jet right here i have not seen anything that disappoints me i'm very impressed by the scheme i'm very impressed by the color of the scheme the overall build there's not a mark on this jet there's not a ding a dent the foam feels great um and for i mean 389 bucks guys i mean this is an 80 millimeter powerhouse so I'm just saying, very impressed to me for what it is, what you get in this box. Uh, free shipping at fmsmodel.com. So if you haven't gone to their website here in the U.S., definitely do. Check it out. And I got a feeling this jet will sell out pretty quick. I just don't see them keeping it long. I want to get caught up on uh, some of the chat here. Uh, let's see. 
uh, Ray, there was a guy that got 145 miles per hour box stock over the weekend. I don't doubt it. I mean, this jet's supposed to scream. Um, and that's that's pretty damn impressive, 145 miles per hour. Um, we'd have to get uh, – I told you, man, we're going to get Jeff and Bobby together, and we're going to put these all together, man, and just see between the Viper and the Futura – what happens as far as speed tests, man? I mean, we want to do this. This is a challenge, and I've issued it, and uh, we're going to see what it'll do. Um, so, yeah, I'm anxious to see that one. Um, let's see what all we got going on here. Um, let me see. I'm trying to catch up on the chat, guys. Um, let's see. Reading and reading and reading. Oh, yeah, you guys are burning this thing up. What's up, Steve from Killer Plains? How are you, buddy? Glad to see you, man. Well, Steve, you can go to fmsmodel.com, and they are in Florida now, man, and uh, you can get you one. What's up, Kenny? Hangar 51. How are you, buddy? Good to see you tonight, man. I'm um, sitting here talking about the FMS. Uh, FMS obviously is down in Tallahassee, Florida, guys, because that's where this one came from. So they must have a, a distributorship down in Florida. So, Kenny, you might can walk over and get you one, man. Um, wouldn't that be great? We just get Kenny to start shipping things out for us, guys. We get him to smuggle them. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, Mike SSI, what's up, buddy? Um, glad you guys are doing good, man. Um, so I'm going to get this one kind of, let's see. I'm going to get this one out of the way so that we can get to the Viper because uh, I want to talk about that one as well. And I'll set this one right up here. Get it moved. There we go. All right. And again, by the power of TV. Wow. Check it out. Boom. We got the Viper sitting right here, ready to go. Um, so we'll crack into it and see what we got. And I can tell you guys, this is the how it comes packaged. You get two levels of, of this box. You get it up here where you can see it. There are two levels. As you see, one, two. And so the first things that you see in the package here, guys, are the wings. One wing is reversed and one wing is right side up. Now, I'm going to tell you, the first thing I saw when I opened the box, it's not per se damage. It's just a little kind of like, really? Um, but it's just me, and maybe I'm picky. I don't know. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. And you guys that have had this jet or have this jet, you know what I'm talking about. Um you know, with things and, and you know what it costs, correct? So that being said, this right here, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me back it. See this right here? I mean, right here. See that? That is the landing gear servo, guys. Now, there ain't a whole lot of uh, real estate in between there and the outside of this wing. And as a matter of fact, if you hold it and look at it like this, you can actually see where they put the glue in where the servo is, and it kind of had a little bit of an effect with the foam. Not bad, but enough to where we pilots know what we're looking for, and it's kind of like the foam's going, I don't like it. Um, but, guys, you can actually feel right here if you run your hand over it. I don't think the camera's going to do it any justice. Um, but I'll roll it over this way. There you go. You see this right here? I mean... Again, maybe I'm being picky. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. But for what this jet cost, that is a that's a thin spot on that wing. And, you know, um, it's one of those things, too, guys, where we've seen a lot of airplanes that come in, and if you land hard on the mains or whatever, you'll poke through or punch through. Um just, I don't know why they didn't add more foam right there. Um, but that's, you know, uh, neither here nor there. Um, another little blemish. Uh, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up that was on here. It looks like foam stuck to this, maybe. I think I can get it off with some alcohol, maybe. Um, again, things happen, you know. Um, I actually picked this jet up at Hangar 18 in Raleigh, guys. Um, and Brian there at Hangar 18 gave me a great deal on it. And um, 
you guys are in the North Carolina area, Hangar 18 and Raleigh Hobby, those guys are great. Swing in, support them. They're both Horizon dealers, and you might see something you like. Um, let's see. Rope landings have been fine. Let me be in the gear. Didn't hurt anything. Well, that's good to know. You just, But we've all seen it happen. And I, too, hate that it's not painted, you know, because I have seen E-Flight foam yellow over time. But, again, I'm not one to leave my planes in the sun any longer than absolutely possible. So I walk them out. I fly. You guys know I fly off the grass. And when I walk them out, I take off, I fly, I land, I come in, I put them in the shade. Boom, done. So you're talking maybe five minutes if you get a three-minute flight time off of a jet for this to be in the sun total. Now, one thing I am impressed with, these have got the uh, gear on it, kind of like the F4 Phantom from uh, Motion RC. Um there's several jets out there that have the L39. These have bearings in them. They're, they're really nice uh, wheels on these. They look a lot like the F4. If I didn't know better, I swear that's what they are. Um, again, they did put some tape on the uh, servo leaves. They didn't quite cover everything. And I'm like, come on, guys. It only takes another half a cent to do that. Your winglets will go on here and cover your lights. Uh, you have... Lights here that this, and this jet has super super bright lights, guys. Um, and I'm telling you, everything about it. I mean, down to the hinges for the flaps. I mean, look at look how robust these are. Um, very impressive. You've got hinges for your ailerons. Um, I mean, and the foam is a dense foam. It's nice. That right there is just. I wish it looked better. That's all. Um, just saying, you know. Uh, let's see. Let me move this out of the way. Put this over here. All right, now we've got the horizontal and the elevator, of course. This is a lot like the Futura, how it goes together, guys. Real simple install. Everything goes together evenly, easily. Um, again, all of your uh, ball links are and your linkages are already installed for you. Um you know, and they took time to paint all this. I mean, they've got a couple of huge, you look right here, big mold releases. There's one right there. There's one on the other side over here. I'm like, you know, come on. Um, but again, we're used to it. Not a big deal. Uh, nice horns. They're screwed in from the back side. Hard points here. Uh, that is a, uh, that's just a pass through for a screw. So not a big deal there. This all fits together real neat. Um, you won't see any of this under here. Again, this tape covers these wires, and you won't see any of this. So, you know, again, not bad. Moving right along. I got to figure it's, you know, it's almost harder to box this stuff back up, guys, than it is to take it out of the box. Let's see. We've got the other wing, which is nice. I'll show you. Um, and I, I know you guys had to have seen Brian Phillips' latest video that was, what, three hours long um, on this jet, along with the uh, F-16, the 80 millimeter. My man was killing it. And this jet also has reverse thrust, guys, which is really cool for backing up, things like that, or as he calls it, pilot fatigue. Um, <laughs> but you've got hard points here, guys. Um, hard point here for this screw. And uh, as you can see, nice looking paint. Everything on here, I mean, it looks nice. I take nothing from it. It's a lot of money. I mean, this is a bind and fly, you know. So, um, again, this is almost, well, not quite double the price as the Futura, you know. Um, is it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's an opinion. I guess it's a personal opinion. Um, you know, this is the other wing. Same thing here, guys. You can actually see where the foam on this wing. See, see, look. I turn there. See how it's got a little bit of a blister effect to it right there? You can tell that. And that's, again, where the glue was not happy in there. Um, kind of thin. But, hey, not a problem. Is Dustin in here? I see Jeff from Lower Alabama. I saw, hey, oh, he is. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> the Futura is killer, man. I got to say, 
both of these are sweet, but that Futura is just badass, dude. I'm just telling you. Um, I cannot wait to get that baby in the air. You hear me? That's going to be real nice, Clark, real nice. Let's see. Let me move this out of the way. And, Dustin, the, the, the pictures and the videos you see, man, aren't doing it any justice. The paint on it is a is a prettier color. It's just it's just badass, man. I don't know how else to put it. Um, again, guys, this is the second level of your two-stage box. Um, this is all pretty much your fuse, um, your winglets, uh, another couple of uh, spars in here as well. You got one in here. There's this is actually two spars. Um, let's see. You also have got your ventrals right here, which are really nice. They did these so they can slide off and on for transport. That's really cool. Um, good feature that they started doing that, right? Um, let's see. We've got our nose coming in. Look, this is your bag of screws, right? Kind of like the future, man. I mean, look, you got a bind plug. And a little bag of screws here, guys. That's it. I mean, that's that's what it takes to put this plane together. You have your magnetic nose cone with your earth magnet. That goes on the nose. Um, they have this actually stored in there because it holds your screws in. So that's pretty smart. Let's see. Um, make sure I got that turned around in there the right way. Um, other than that, guys, this, this, this whole box, the whole ba base of this is your fuselage. So that being said... Guys, you could save your phone, break this plane down at the field, and, and have a box to store it in and not beat it and bang it up because this plane will break down in a matter of probably 10 minutes at the field because it's only a few screws. You got your, you got, uh, let's see, one, two, four for the wings, one, two, three, four, eight. Uh, you might have 10, 12 screws total, just like the Futura guys. I mean, um, Again, not a problem. I mean, you could break it down, put it in your box. There's the fan from this angle, if you guys can see that. Now, what I want to do before I – I want to go here real quick, and we're going to pull up some stats on this one just so we give it, you know, the same uh, little bit of stuff here. Um, th this one is supposed to reach, reach speeds of 120-plus. So if that being said – you know, Ray was talking about somebody saw 145 out of the future today. It's only an 80 millimeter, guys. This is a 90. This is a big jet, right? Um, it's a 12 blade, 90 millimeter. Um, it's 6S. It's a 3, 3670, 1950 kV. That's a 2000 in the future, right? I know it's an 80. This is a 90, but still. Um, Let's see, uh, you got anywhere from a 4,000 to a 7,000 pack. Um, let's see, uh, you can do up to two 6S 3200s in parallel if you choose. Um, easy to fly. This is the Biden and Fly, so of course it's got safe and all that good stuff. But I'm going to get it back up here a little closer, guys, where you can see it a little bit better. Look at it from here. I'll uh, show you. I'll rotate it just like I did the Futura. Um, I'll show you. This is also a hard point. This is another smart thing these companies are doing. They're putting the hard points on these jets in the places where we beat them up the most. Let me get this where you can see up that rear end of there. There you go. Pull out a little bit. There you go. That's a nice fan, right? Um, again, as you can see, all brass uh, plastic hard points here. Your uh, wires for your servos all have the snap lock connectors, guys, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to open the, uh, the hatch here and show you inside here. This thing has got amazing lights on it. Uh, if you can't see this plane in the afternoon, you're not going to see anything. Look inside at how big this is, right? I mean, that is a monster uh, opening. You can almost lay your arm down in there. I mean... That's a lot of room, guys. Smart ESC. So if you're using the NX radios or the IX12, uh, IX20, as I do, um, you're going to get all of your telemetry, all of your readouts, which is really nice. Um, this also comes with a, uh, what is it? Um, let me make sure I get this correct. It is a capacitor. 
which more or less gives you a little juice in the tank should you ever have a brownout. It gives your uh, receiver a little bit of power until you, you come back online, basically is what it does. And that is right here. Um, just a little capacitor, right? You don't have to leave that in there if you don't want to, but I've started putting in a lot of my planes just as a backup. Um, also, inside this airplane, you can see right here, this is carbon uh, spar right here, guys. It runs the length from the nose back. And it is a good quarter of an inch thick. I don't know if I can get this where you guys can see that where my finger. That is a that is a thick piece of carbon right there, guys. Can you see that? I mean, it's almost the width of the tip of my finger, right? Um, it's big there. Can you see that? Um, you've got three straps in here for your batteries. Most people don't use that first strap from what I've seen. Um, if you watch Brian Phillips, he's flying... Uh, up to a 7,000 in this jet, guys. Uh, Chris Wolf did a great review on this. He showed you his throws where he CGs this jet. Um, great video. And we all know that Chris Wolf is very thorough. That's the RC geek for you guys that don't know. Um, so definitely check that out. This plane comes with the AR637TA. Um, it has your safe select should you want it. Also has your gyro, um, which is for stability. But, yeah, I mean, hard points here for your vents for cooling, and these are actual working vents. Air does penetrate and come through those, guys. Um, let's see. I'll take this nose cone and give you the full benefit of the king here. Guys, I'm, I'm trying to read the chat, too, and it's just tough. There you go. So that's, that's that. And then I will put this back on. This goes on really nicely snaps in real nice um so yeah i mean it's it's nice got a nice pilot sitting in there a lot of other jets nowadays guys aren't even putting pilots in them right so this one's got a nice pilot but as i was saying if you guys can see this check this out right take your take your nose cone off which let me stand it up this way you're at the field you take your nose cone off you put it in the box you take your fuselage you lay it right down in here, put it right back in the box, just like that. These are your winglets right here where your lights, as you can see those, your lights will shine through here. Put your winglets in this spot that they give you right here, guys. Um, make sure I get it back in there right. Because everything's got a way, it's got to be turned. And if you really, you know, you pay attention to this stuff and see how it's done, you know, I'm pretty good at boxing shit back up, right? <laughs> I mean, I gotta, I gotta give it to myself, man. I gotta toot my own horn a little bit here. Um, but yeah, they're back in there. Um, these are again your ventrals. There's a spot for those. You drop those right in with your little piece of uh, foam in between, and that's your bottom level, guys. Um, you can store your planes in a bag inside your fuselage should you choose. Uh, we'll put them right there in your nose cone because it is magnetized. It's going to hold on to them. And then this whole top level will sit right back down on here. And I'll tell you what's really cool, guys. If you get you some of that white locking Velcro, the white stuff, and put on each corner of this box, when you, when you set this top level back down on here, it's going to lock together and hold together. Um, now you got a travel box, guys. you got a way to transport this plane. It's not taken up, but uh, what you got 12 inches, maybe tall, if that, maybe 10, maybe 10 wide, and basically your length. And if you want to save the carton that it came in, you slide it right back in there, guys. You're ready to go. Uh, your plane is protected. So now, basically, if I come in here and I take this wing, this piece right here sits right back down in there. This wing goes upside down right here. And I'm showing you guys so you can see this because, you know, a lot of times, you know, how will I transport it? They're so easy to take apart and move around nowadays, guys. It's crazy. And I hate to see you guys not get a jet you like because you're scared you can't move it around, right? Um, this is going to go back on this end like that. This end is going to go back here like this. And, guys, that's it. She's back in the box, ready to roll. Um and now all I'd have to do is slide it right back in the carton. You see that? That jet is 
packed again, guys. And uh, like I say, if you put a little Velcro where your cart, where your phone pieces like this sit down in here, they don't go anywhere. You just pop, pull them out when you, uh, you know, you want to take, you don't lose them and they'll be right there in your box. You can't ask for easier transport. So you can't be intimidated by this jet because now this big 90 millimeter jet that you're thinking, where am I going to put that? I could put it in the back seat of a car, uh, a, a Honda, I mean, an Accord, anything, in a trunk, I, I mean, and some other, I could put the Future and this in a small compact car, no problem, in these boxes. They're that easy to rebox. Um, so kudos to the people that design these boxes, too. And nowadays, guys, if you're throwing your boxes away, um, you shouldn't be because, you know, these are a great way to transport your things and not tear your stuff all to pieces, not ding it up. If you're going to go to the field, um, you take an extra five or 10 minutes and you put it together right there at the field. Um, if you've got all your throws and everything set and your radio is programmed, it's going to be the same. It's, everything's going to go right together and you're up and flying in 10 minutes and then give yourself 10 minutes in the evenings to take it apart, put it back in your box and, put it in your subcompact car and go home, right? <laughs> I mean, um, that's that's how easy it is. I'm sitting here trying to read you guys' comments right now and uh, see what's going on. Um, yeah, I, how about it, Ruff? Isn't that a nice reboxing? You're damn right, man. Because um, some of these jets and planes, guys, I'm going to tell you, it's like an act of Congress. It's like a puzzle. If you don't take pictures of it before you try to put it back together, but between this future and between this Viper, guys, do not hesitate in the fact that you can repackage these things in a matter of minutes, slide them in the back seat of your car, put them in the trunk with the rest of your batteries and your charger and your transmitter, and go to the field with a couple of big airplanes, man. And look, get you a little, get you one of these folding stands right here, right? Like what, eighty bucks? You got everything you need, and, and you're at the field with your little Prius or your, or your tiny little compact car, and you got these big mojo planes sitting on the ground. People go, man, how'd you get them here? I just break them down and put them back in the box. <laughs> it's that simple, guys. Um, let's see. Anyone do the unboxing of Jeff does RC? <laughs> I hear you, Snow. Right on, baby. Tell it like it is. Hey, man, it's all for y'all, right? All for y'all. Let's see. Uh, yeah, and, and true, exactly. Ray just pointed out you got slightly bigger screws for the wings, which is typical. Um, and if you want to put those in a separate bag and write wings on them so you know, there you go. Makes that real simple. Um, but, guys, I know a lot of you out there have got small vehicles. And, I mean, this is not going to ding your planes up. That That's one thing. Somebody posted on Facebook today, and he said, you know, I take the best care of my airplanes, he said, but I swear I ding them up more getting them in and out of the house and into the vehicle than I do flying the daggone things. And that is so true. We've all been there. You you walking through the house with it, you run into the wall, you coming into the vehicle, you hit going into the vehicle, you hit going into your trailer, you're going, damn it. I mean, I've done it, I couldn't tell you. I mean, walking through the garage, you hit something, right? Coming down the steps, you hit the door. I mean, so we do more damage getting them in and out of the house than we do flying the thing sometimes. Um, but right here, right here, baby, you can carry this under your arm, right? And you good. I mean, and look how many you could pack in the back of a car and, and in the back seat. Put them in the passenger seat. Put the seat belt around it if it makes you feel warm and fuzzy. I'm just telling you, this is the way to carry your airplanes. When they, when look, when they made UMX planes, they got a box for them for a reason with a handle, guys. It's because it's easy transport, and you ain't messing them up. You could do the same thing with these. Put you a handle. Get you one a piece of plastic. Make you a handle. Put it on these boxes. Carry it like a suitcase. Bam. You looking cool as shit walking out to the field with a suitcase in each hand. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Um, it beats tearing you mess up and and guys for if you're worried about getting stuff in your vehicle this is the solution and um 
a lot of people don't think about it. As soon as they take them out of the box like this, they think, oh, I'm not going to take it apart. I'm not going to use the box. They ditch the phone. They throw it away. Okay, but I I've just given you a way for you guys that say I don't have a big enough vehicle. Well, here you go. You could carry this on your bicycle, okay? So <laughs> um, I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's see. Who else we got in here tonight? I'm just rambling. Oh, we got Mr. RC Informer. What's up, Rich? How are you, buddy? Thank you for being here, as always. You see the Futura, man. I, the day you did the unboxing, I told you I bought it. That is one beautiful airplane, and I've been telling all the guys in here to go to FMS model, get that airplane. You will not be disappointed. Um, the paint job on it is incredible. The, the videos and the pictures do it no justice. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And, um, you know... I was amazed when I got it here and took it out of the box. The red on it, I was thinking more of a red orange. It's it's a beautiful red. Um, I can see where this jet will be super easy to see in the air. Um, and I can't wait to see your your maiden on this thing, man, because uh again, you know, we all listen to you and Chris Wolf, and you guys, you guys save a lot of airplanes for us by showing us the best way to set them up, your throws, where you're putting your battery. Um it just is what it is. And uh, I, you know, I screenshot a lot of y'all stuff in your videos and go back later and watch it and um, see exactly what you did. And I watch your build videos on how you do things. Now, this future, we all know there's not a whole lot that's got to be done. Um, that's what I was just telling the guys. These things will break down and transport so easy in the boxes that we have. Save your boxes, carry them to the field, and you're not dinging up your planes. They're protected, right? Um but I'm amazed by this uh, future, man. Cannot wait to fly it. And I wanted to uh, show it to all these guys as quickly as I could. And, guys, if you haven't watched Rich live, uh, live Saturday before last of the unboxing and the build of this Futura version 3 from FMSmodel.com, definitely go look at it, watch it, because it is a great video. And he gives a very in-depth unboxing and putting this thing together so um yeah definitely everybody here knows who rich baker is right <laughs> so uh but yeah always a pleasure to have you in here rich thank you man for stopping by i appreciate you buddy um but yeah guys so i mean that's that's kind of where we're at and what we're working on and and i wanted to get over to my buddy uh wayne's studio and try to get these things unboxed and we're going to still do some unboxing videos but I just couldn't wait on this future, guys. Um, I know a lot of you have seen the Viper 90. That's kind of a, an old shoe, but a great flying jet. I take nothing from it. I'm excited to have it. But that Futura, for the money, I'm telling you guys, $389 with free shipping. They're not going to last long uh, with the looks and everything on this jet. I'm just telling you, get over there. And FMSmodel.com is now in the United States. So you get your uh, jets on the East Coast, you're getting them this quick. I got mine in three days. Um, so that's that's awesome. So, you know, uh, like I say, don't hesitate because if you wait, you know what happens nowadays. If you see something you want, guys, you better get it because if you don't, it's going to be gone. So, yeah. Um, Rich, when are you coming out with a maiden flight on this Futura, man? I know um, Banana Hobby, they've been down at Jets Over Kentucky. Um, Marvin's been posting a lot of great stuff from that. That looked like a great time as well. Um, been watching his videos, uh, watching him trek across the whole eastern United States to get there and back. Um, somebody actually hit his trailer. He was lucky on that one, man, that it didn't uh, mess his trailer up and cause him to have a problem. Um Rich said he's going to have a video out hopefully soon, guys. Uh, I can't wait to see it, man, because if this thing sounds as good, if not better, than the version 2, it's going to be an awesome machine. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, man. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out now, guys. Um, you know, as I said, a lot of guys are going bigger. You know, they're getting uh, getting into turbines. Um, Nunes, you guys watching him, he's building a nice turbine now. A lot of guys are converting the foam jets over to turbine. Um, 
Uh, there's been a couple of guys on YouTube that are doing the HSD T45, which is at a, I mean, it's a beautiful jet, guys. Um, along with the T1 T45 that my friend Tim Tutant has, that's a uh, composite jet. Uh, BBM is coming out with some beautiful stuff. Banana Hobby's got great stuff coming out. It's a great time to be in this hobby, guys. It's like, you know, decisions, decisions. But there's something out there for everybody. Uh, you know, you guys saw a couple weeks ago we released from Hobby King the F16 50 uh, millimeter along with the F18 50 millimeter. Those are incredible jets, guys. Fly off a 1,000 pack. You're getting three and a half minutes flight time. Comes with the gyro with the um, – basically the gyro uh, is a self-leveling. It, it, you, it, it's almost like safe, guys. Call it what you want to. It is. Uh, it'll, it'll level the plane. It keeps you from going inverted. But you can cut it off and just fly with a gyro or you can fly with nothing. Um, so those planes for 159 I think, your choice of an F-16 or an F-18, hand launch them, guys. They're incredible. Get over to Hobby King. Check those out as well. You know, you get you a couple of packs for 200 bucks, guys. You got a lot of good fly time. And you don't have to worry about gear. Um, you got a gyro built in, so all you got to do is throw you a little six-channel receiver in there, guys, and you're up and flying and having a ball. Um, we were, uh, me and Jeff were racing them. If you saw the video that Bobby put out the other day, uh, we were racing them at our fly-in a couple weeks ago, and we were having a ball with them, man. Um, flying low, uh, Jeff was almost on the deck with his. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and guys, like I've said, if you can fly these little 50 millimeters and fly them well, okay, you're going to fly your bigger stuff even better because the bigger stuff flies better. Um, and the little stuff, you've got to be more alert. You've got to be on your toes. you got to be watching that thing. They disappear quicker. Um, and, and, you know, the cool thing with it, I was able to take the F-16 that I had, and I was doing some alphas right in front of me, man, high alphas. And I had that thing just standing up and just doing this right here. It's just fun. It takes away some of the pucker factor, guys, because you're talking something that's 150 bucks versus six, seven, eight, nine hundred. You know what? On up depends on what you got in it. Um, so with that, you can also increase your skills. I mean, you know, if you can get out there and practice with a 50 millimeter, get up a little bit higher when you take out your 70, 80, and 90 millimeters. And do some of it and have fun, but at least you're getting some stick skills and you're learning and, and you're getting the hand-eye coordination. Um, it's just a good thing to do, guys, I'm telling you. And for the money, you can't go wrong. And at the end of the day, you don't have to worry about the gear. So, And that's a big saving grace. You know, that's a lot of expense for a lot of guys is a gear issue. So uh, let's see. Uh, yes. So Lyndon says, RC Informer, greetings. Love your unboxings and maiden flight videos. You got that right, buddy. Rich does some cool stuff. And then Gavin is out there hanging out with him. He just did a great uh, build at his field the other day as well. And uh, that was a fixed gear jet that they were flying. Like Rich said, it was kind of a combination between a T-45, an L-39, and an MB-339. <clears throat> and they were having a ball with it, man. Um, Rich actually said something about possibly uh, putting some servos in there for the gear. Um, that would be cool if you did that. Um, but, you know, the one of these things, you don't have to, and it's still a great-looking jet. Um, there you go. So um, Rich just dropped the link in here to a good video, guys. Check that out. And look, Rich, while you're here, man, if you want to, please, by all means, drop your link in to the V3 over at fmsmodel.com. And, guys, if you're going to get one, you know, like Rich says, he's not doing this for the money, guys, but every little bit helps. And if you're going to do it and you're going to buy one, use his link. Why wouldn't you? Um, and, and just jump in there and get it, you know. So by all means, Rich, please drop your link in here, man, for that. Um, and anything else for that matter. There's, there's no problems with that at all, buddy. Um, let's see. And, guys, look, y'all staying strong in here tonight. I appreciate you, man. Um like I said, I'm just having a good time hanging out. I'm excited. I'm I'm ready to fly some airplanes, man. You know, I got stuff to do. And, guys, they're just getting easier and easier and easier to put together. No gluing whatsoever. Um, 
everything snap locks in um put a few screws you're up and flying that's why i say put them back in the box take it with you um but yeah this this hobby man it's just getting better and better guys and the jets are coming out with and the ease of the turbines that they're coming out with now for guys that want to get into turbines and spend that extra money um can't beat it right now it's just a great hobby and EQ, man, I'm telling you, buddy, that F-18 you redid, you did a great job on that, man. And your tutorials, um, I love watching your stuff, man. Um, like I said, putting the decals on, a lot of guys, you know, get nervous about doing that. You did a great job with that, buddy. Um, I was hoping you could have got down to our fly-in. I was looking forward to it. But the weather kept some people away, and I understand that. But we had a great turnout anyway, and it didn't rain. It dropped the rain that day, so that was great, too. Um all right, Shadow, thank you for coming, man. I appreciate it. And there you go, guys. Rich dropped the uh, V3 video in there. Guys, check that out as well. And that's a, that'll show you a lot more about this uh, future here, guys. Um, he puts actually put it together and everything. Um, bound it up, got it going, showed you the gear, showed you the lights. Looked really nice. So, yeah, great job on that. I told you I was going to get one, Rich. <laughs> Um, that video just, we were sitting at the field at the fly-in, man, watching your live show, right? And we had guys under our tent hanging out. Bobby was there. Jeff was there. Matter of fact, Bobby ordered one too. So he's got one coming. Um, so that's going to be exciting as well. So we're going to get these things out, man, and we're going to rip them up and put them in the air. And Jeff's got the Viper 90 as well. So we're going to get out there and do some speed trials and speed tests on these things and see. See how it goes. See what happens, man. It's going to be interesting to see the future against the Viper. I know what I'll put my money on, I believe, you know. And I think it's going to be that one right there, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. But, yeah. All right, so look, fellas, I've kept you for an hour tonight. I try to keep it short with you because I don't like to hold you all night. We've kept a good crowd, stayed 30 strong all night, if not more. I thought I saw almost 40 at one point. So, um, again, guys. I just thank you for your support. I thank you for being here, hanging out. I thank Rich Baker for being here. I thank all you guys for, uh, you know, uh, contributing to the channel. And um, it just means a lot to me, guys. It really, it really does. And just to have you guys here hanging out every Tuesday night and um, always trying to bring you something good. We've got the L39 from Banana Hobby. we got to get going. Got to get that up in the air with JP Fan, the Cortex. Got a lot going on here, guys, as you can see. But, hey. Could be worse, right? Um, and it's hot. It's supposed to be like almost 100 this weekend, and some guys are going to be even hotter than that. So you guys drink plenty of water. Stay cool. Don't be getting heat stroke and heat exhaustion, please. It ain't worth all that. So with that being said, guys, please have a great week. Hang out a little bit longer if you want to. Chat it up. Get you a future. You will not be disappointed. And, guys, we all love the Viper 90, right? So check them out. Save your boxes. Carry them to the field. And you can transport bigger airplanes, much simpler. I'm Jeff. This is Chef's Custom RC. You're watching Flight Club, and I will see you next week right here. Thanks, guys.